Lemongrass is native to India and commonly used in Thai and Asian dishes. Hi, I'm Leanne here at Kroger, and today I'm making a couple of great dishes using lemongrass. Take a look. These are lemongrass ginger drop cookies, and if you love the flavor of lemon but don't like the acidity, this is a great way to have it, even in desserts. And this is our lemongrass and cilantro salmon. Let's get started with that. First, I'll make the marinade for the salmon, which is really simple, and I love these flavors. I'll pour in some orange juice, and then I'll add in the lemongrass. I'm gonna liberally add in three tablespoons of this lemongrass, which is wonderful. You can see here, it's six stalks of lemongrass that are in this tube. So we'll add in one, two, three tablespoons, and then I'll mix that up into the orange juice. Okay, that's mixed. And then I've got four pieces of salmon, and I'm just going to lightly coat them with some salt and pepper. I'll add them into the marinade, and those will marinate for about an hour. While that's marinating, we'll make our compound butter. So I've got some butter that's softened, and two that I'm going to add in about a tablespoon, give or take, of cilantro. You know, the great thing about this recipe is you can really add whatever gourmet garden spice you'd like to add into the butter. Now I'm adding in some orange zest, and I'll just mix that all up together. It just smells wonderful. And now I'll take that mixture out and put it on to my uh, plastic wrap here. And then I'll roll it up kind of into a log. You know, you could get creative here and make whatever shape you wanted, like this. And then I'll just put that in the refrigerator, and now we'll go back to the salmon. I pulled the salmon out of the marinade, and I put it on a baking dish, and I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on top. And uh, I've preheated the oven to broil. This looks fabulous. And I'll just slip it in the oven for five to six minutes. While the salmon's cooking, I'll go ahead and slice up my compound butter. Doesn't this look beautiful? Now this is also wonderful to slice up and put on a little plate and serve with some bread at a meal. But I'll go ahead and slice some of these butter pats that we'll put on top of that salmon when it comes out of the oven. This salmon is done, it looks fabulous. And I'll just put a piece of this on my plate and I've plated up some spinach here and then we'll top it with our pat of compound butter. And that just looks fabulous. It's just kind of melting over the top of that fish. You can find the recipe right here on the website. And remember, you can make any kind of compound butter you like. In fact, lemongrass is a great choice to mix in with butter as well. I'm Leanne here at Kroger, and I'll see you next time. <music>